What up fam, Tyler here from Camp Iron Sharp guys. Um, for those who don't know, and there'll be many that uh, wouldn't know about what we do or what Iron Sharp does and, and the meaning behind it, okay? Um, Camp Iron Sharp is an organization that's been, uh, that, that I founded uh, a few years ago, okay? What we do is that we use our love of strength and conditioning, contact sports, and God to, uh, to build a connection uh, with these uh, young men. For these young men, what we try to do through that connection is aim to build them, encourage them, and equip them with tools that will serve them on the on the athletic field, whatever the sport may be. But more importantly, in life, um, that's you know that for for all of our us parents out there, that's the most important game is, is the is the game of life, guys. Um, you know, so one thing that we do here, guys, and one thing that we encourage is. For, for these young men is that we um, we want them to to have purpose in life. We want them to have vision and to have goals that they want to achieve. Whether it is on the football field, whether it is on a, on any, any sort of athletic field, or in or in um, you know in school, in becoming a lawyer, you know, become a, become, becoming something, guys, becoming something that they love uh, and that we believe is their calling on their life. Um, and we're always pushing that. We're always talking life into these guys, and we're always saying. You know, come on, guys. You know, have vision. Have encourage them to have these things. Along with with Iron Sharp's vision, guys, um, we're, what we one of our things we wanted to do this year, and it had to be this year. The only reason why we it had to be this year is that we said it was going to be. Um, is that we wanted to open up our own facility, um, whether it would be a guy. Sorry, it will just and it will just be a place where these guys can come and we can come and train on the one and. Uh, you know, help them with, with things, um, you know, build partnerships with uh, local businesses, um, apprenticeship services, and, and and things like that, just to help, you know, guide these guys through what they want to do in life. Um, so, yeah, as you know, coming back to what we were saying, guys, um, we wanted to open up a facility. It's a facility that's uh, it's been on my heart for about five years, to be honest, guys. It's yeah, been about five years, and... Um, for those who don't know, I've been training people out of my garage. Uh, it started off a single garage, where I said pack it up, get about eight to ten people in a single garage, and um, and train them out of. And I'll and I'll share a story with you guys. Um, we, I don't know if my wife will like this, but I will tell you, we we got kicked out of our our, our the first place because we were training people out of there. Um, so about two years ago, um, and this this. This thing on my heart to, to really want to do it, um, I, I didn't care. We just we just moved and we just started training people out of our, our new place that we're still living in now, which is a which is the double garage. Um, and uh, you know that place used to get pretty crazy as well. Uh, it still does. You get about 20 guys. It's been, there's been times we've been at about 22 guys in there. No space, but everyone just putting in work. Um, all the all the equipment that has been gathered. Has been uh, all invested for money that's been taken from from these guys, donations and, and stuff. And honestly, it's, it's it's amazing to see how God works uh, when 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 you step out and do things, when you step out and and uh, just just say, "Yeah, I'm going to do this." It's amazing what God does for you, man. I I can't say that enough. Um, okay, so you know, long story, long story long. Um, welcome to Camp Iron Sharp Three. It's in Upper Kumara, right across the road from Hillsong Church. That's a weird one, but hey, it is it is what it is. It's uh, Unit 14, number two, Cold Street, Upper Kumara. Um, we, me, my wife and I, just uh, signed the lease on Friday. And uh, to be honest, guys, it's this is just a leap of faith. Um, when you when you're chasing dreams and when you when, when you're when you believe you're, you're you're walking into the calling that's in your life, guys, you get to a point, and I want people to, I want people to hear this. You get to a point where you have to jump. You get to a point where you get to the edge, and it's either you sit here and be comfortable, or you decide to jump. And where you end up, you don't know. But that's the that's the exciting thing, guys. That's the exciting thing about life. The exciting thing about the God that we serve. So um, I'll, I'll take you on a little tour, fam. It's all messy now. We, 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 we me and my brother, have been moving, uh, and, and a couple of, and a couple of the other brothers have been moving in for the last couple of days. And honestly, I'm, I'm, 
I'm a bit tired, I'm a bit sleep deprived. Um, I probably slept probably about four hours, three hours a night for the last two weeks. Just, just, ra just, just trying to, I guess just trying to um, comprehend what is happening here, guys. You know, I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and, and I'll let you know another thing, guys. I, I'm not special, man. I'm, I'm not a special guy. I'm not, I'm not a guy that has, that's ultimately talented or that's given, you know, the gift of, you know, being an athletic sports superstar or anything. I had, I had dreams that I wanted to play NRL. I didn't get there, guys. Um, but, you know, I, through, through, through all these failures, which I thought were failures a few years ago, I, I realized that there were lessons for him. And um, it's funny how God works, guys, but I'll come and take a, take a bit of a tour um, and just, yeah, excuse the lights, because there ain't none. Um, power gets turned on tomorrow. There's a squat rack, one that, uh, reception desk. It's entry. Church, car park. Down here is just a whole bunch of dumbbells we picked up over the few years, guys. Um, you know, the wife and I, um, we used to pick up our children and uh, drive all over, one hour, two hour trips, drive over just to pick up pieces of equipment because we had no money to fund this. All we had was spare money, um, which wasn't much, but you know, uh, and, and money that I collected from the clients that we were training. Um, some other equipment here, some bars. Squat rack, one squat rack, guys. Me and, the, me and my brother just finished the session now. Um, ropes, some benches. As I said, guys, nothing here is pretty, but that's, we're not looking for pretty. Um, you know, weights, weights that have been collected over the last four years. Other bits of weights, another squat rack, sleds, you know, trying to be resourceful with little sources. Um, yeah, guys, I, I guess there's going to be many little nuggets of uh, wisdom and, and experience through this particular video, and I, and I want to keep it short, but there's so much on my, on my heart that I want to share with people, and that, um, and that, I'm, that I'm going to step out and do, fam. Um, well, I have to get people through this joint, <laughs> so... The, the best way to do it is connect and uh, you know using um, social media as a platform to do this. So this is the beginning, guys. We call this Iron Sharp Three because it's the third place that we, we've moved this. And uh, yeah, fam, you know more content, more training content, more I guess more life content and uh, more inspiration and everything for for all of us, fam. The only thing I can say, guys. And I'll, well, not the only thing, but uh, you know, one of many things that I can probably share with anyone um, is that, you know, it says in his word, do not despise small beginnings, man. Um, this is still very small to where I think, where I believe Iron Sharp will go. Um, but where we'll end up and how we'll end up, I'll leave that to God. You know, this journey is not, is not just mine, it's, it, it's his. And, um, you know, I'm going to go 50% of the way, and I'll and I'll leave. I'll let God step in the gap, and take me, take us, take this, not me, take this the whole way. Um, you know, but my, I'll leave you with my, my 50% of the the journey is 150% of effort. It's everything that I'll give. I'll give everything to this. You know, barring my, barring my relationship with God, and my relationship with my family, but um. You know, fam, I, I guess I just wanted to share this, um, you know, uh, and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I've got uh, um, first batch of preseason guys that they're going to be filtered through this, um, and then we're going to work out what we're going to do, probably set up, hopefully set up some, um, some life groups in that as well through this, um, through this avenue. Um, and yeah, fam, okay, guys who are, people who are out there, you know, out there on, the, on what they call the grind, Man, just keep, all I can say is just, yeah, give 150%, man. Do everything that you can in your control and let God take care of the rest. Um, that was the biggest thing that we had to deal with. Um, but yeah, fam, thank you guys for watching this video. It's about 10 minutes long, but, um, you know, God bless and uh, have a great day. Cheers.